<clears throat> Consider now the coelacanth, our only living fossil, persistent as the amaranth and status quo apostle. It jeers at fish unfossilized as intellectual snobs elite. Old coelacanth so unrevised, it doesn't know it's obsolete. By Ogden Nash. Yep, that's right. We're unboxing a plush coelacanth that I got off of AliExpress for I think like 20 or 30 dollars and uh, they had a whole bunch of them too which is really really cool like different uh, prehistoric fish and probably like you know invertebrates and all this other fun stuff so yeah check it out um, I'm sure you'll find something cool if uh, this strikes your fancy so let's get right into it here Jesus, I hope I didn't shake the camera there. Oh, it's in a little baggie with a cute little ribbon on it. That's nice. And here we have it in its uh, placenta, which is uh, it's actually quite fitting because for those of you who don't know, coelacanths actually give live birth. So very fitting. I'm glad uh, they paid attention to detail there and it wasn't just a random coincidence. Just notice it's got... It's got like tape over its eyes for some reason. It's to keep it from striking you when you open it up, I'm sure. How do I, uh... There we go. Let's peel these little stickies off. Alright, I guess the other one came off by itself, so... Oh yeah, it's still in the bag, so that's funny. So here we go. I think it's adorable, holy crap. It looks really, really nice. Which is, you know, pleasant, because a lot of times you get stuff from China and you expect complete garbage, so... Uh, look at it! <laughs> anyway. So yeah, it's a coelacanth. I really like the color. It feels awesome. It's super, super like soft, but it's like it's this weird softness though. Like it's like these really, really kind of like it almost feels kind of bristly, but not in a bad way. It's like soft bristles if you stroke it like the opposite way from where it flows, which is kind of neat. It's very like velvety. That's the word I'm looking for. Velvety. It's got all its little uh, lobe fins that it's oh so famous for here. Well, not this one really, but like these ones. And the little tail. That no other extant fish in the whole world that we know of so far uh, still maintains this type of fin. And uh, on the rear fin there. So yeah, it's really, really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. Absolutely worth my money. I like its little, like, marblescent eyes. I'm not sure if it was like actually intentional or not, but um, if you've ever seen actual like pictures of coelacanths, like their eyes actually reflect a lot like this um, when they're taking pictures of in the wild and stuff with flash. So it's a really, really nice touch. This is awesome quality. I love it. And uh, here's a tiny fossilized bivalve for scale. I'm sure uh, you guys are all wondering how big it really is. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, oh, one more thing. If you guys were curious about uh, the book I was reading at the beginning of there, it's uh, from A Fish Caught in Time. I'm sure the poem is from someone else and they just threw it in there. But I would really recommend this book if you're at all interested in, you know, fish or nature or just the coelacanth itself and want to learn more about it. This is an awesome read. It tells you about the whole story of how it was discovered, um, how it was, uh, how they discovered it twice, really, because the first specimen, they ended up having to gut it and stuff, and it's a really cool story. And uh, they ended up needing to find another specimen to have all the innards and stuff for proper identification. 
So it was a whole thing. It's quite an adventure, really. Uh, I love it. I think it's the coolest thing ever. And it stars a, a strong female protagonist, for those really looking for that, to scratch that itch, uh, by the name of Marjorie Courtney Latimer. She is the one who really, without her, we probably wouldn't know about uh, living seal cans to this day, really. Because she is the, she really, like, saved the first specimen. She was the museum cur curator, and, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> really, without her, it would have just been thrown away, probably, by uh, the trawler. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, give me the up doot or the down doot. And, um, you know, tell me what you think. If you want to see more, you know, plush fish or whatever plushies like this or, you know, what else tickles your fancy, so to speak. And, you know, I'd be happy to see what I can do to make it work. New videos uh, uploaded every Saturday is what I'm trying to do still. So, you know, thanks a lot and have a good one.